सो दैट्स जस्ट दिस साइड एंड दैट साइड तो ये जाए थे स्टैंड जाए He says he's not going to talk. Let's see. Yeah, no way. No way. No way. That's what Noel says. Are you can't even hear it. You need an architect to settle this. So I'm recording today in four channel. Okay. Let's see whether it works or not. Yesterday I did in two channel. It came out quite well. The previous day I recorded on uh, surround sound. That was a bit of a problem because although it was five in the morning, it was recording all the the very. very slight noises from all over the road and things like that yeah pages turning mm. and all that so anyway with me today is noel fernandez he's shaking his head he's uh, shaking his head and doing a namaste to me <laughs> and he's saying that he's not going to record uh, he's not going to he's not willing to be recorded at all okay uh, yesterday yesterday i had another guest who was equally reluctant that's our friend elston suarez and uh, we did a good interview at the end of it all So I know Noel from the age of three, from the age of three, uh, when uh, from from the baby class actually. So you can imagine this goes back like I won't tell you how many years, but it goes back like as old as the hills. And Noel uh, was my classmate till the tenth. Then he studied science. Then he uh, did his architecture. But Noel, I don't want to talk to you on any hot hot subject like because that we'll do later. Real estate in Goa and how it's changed and. and uh, all those kind of things today let's talk about a very simple subject uh, one which you enjoy very much i'm going to draw you out of your shell and that is food and cooking <laughs> so 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 uh, i know your interest is mexican food no no not mexican then It's any food basically how did you start bada hi mere to वही बड़ा सा तो मजे मजे काम नहीं रहे काम दोन दो मरे तो I have to get come tell if you're not if you're not satisfied with it money back I will throw no, no, this interview out no 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 absolutely not so how did you start you were going to say something yeah, that when I was alone at home and uh, uh, I mean there no in your twenties no that was your uh, once I had finished architecture okay. maybe I was around twenty two years old or so twenty two twenty three years old. I was left alone to fend for myself, and I used to eat out off and on. Yeah. And then I didn't like the food, and I was used to good, tasty food at home. So I started experimenting. Know, uh, experimenting, and as I went on experimenting, experimenting, and then I got. No, no, no. Carry on, carry on, carry on. It's fine. Okay. okay. So you went on experimenting when? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, the first day when I started off, I mean, it was a real mess. I bought one kg of of, uh, of beef and I started cooking. I, I didn't know to take out the uh, chichar and things like that. Cleaning yeah. beef was a real problem, and yeah. I didn't have the right tools or the right knives. So half of the meat went to the dogs. Oh gosh! And it was uh, during yeah uh, during Ganesh time. And uh, which year you remember? Eighty five, eighty eighty four. No, it was somewhere in ninety three. Ninety three. Ninety three. So it took me like I started cooking at around ten, and I finished cooking at around maybe one o'clock. And my neighbor who had come to immerse the Ganesh idols suddenly found me up in the back. up and basic cooking so he asked me what the hell i am doing i said i'm trying to cook and it was around nearly 1 in the I, night in the night early in the morning i must have had my dinner at around 1:30 and that was my first uh, uh, what you could say experience in cooking it turned out to be quite horrible but then i was uh, what you could say i was hungry so i had to eat my own poison so <laughs> as as the days went by i started uh, honing the skills of cooking i asked various people who whose um, mothers were good cooks i would go spend some time with them see what they do uh, make some notes and uh, come home and try it out and then that's how 
I I built an interest, and then I built an interest to such an extent where I could uh, dish you out uh, with one one uh, curry dish, one rice dish, one uh, fried stuff, maybe within an hour. Wow! Uh, wow! From the starting, yeah. Wow! So that was my speed. So I did it for around eighteen years, and for uh, yourself, for myself, yeah. And then, and then we'll come to and then later. But uh, I, 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 I am a bit of an amateur with this recording device. I'm just getting started, so I'm not even sure if I missed out recording on something. So in case I did that, I just come again and say that with me is Noel Fernandez, uh, someone whom I know from the age of three, and uh, he is not only an architect. He is not. Uh, he 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 has not only been helping young kids with their studies. he uh, he is also into uh, all forms of alternative therapies including uh, acupressure acupressure okay the very relaxing art of uh, pressing a little bit of homeopathy a little bit of homeopathy and today we are talking about cooking which is food yeah, which is yeah, the issue food. so so in the next 3 4 series we'll cover all these topics including uh, including uh, homeopathy ac- acupressure and and uh, and uh, tuitions and music of course music yeah. is another yeah. is another Uh, well, I'm in mean, hobby. Collecting. But but we won't go into that today, Noel. Uh, coming back to food. Yeah. So so you started that way. Yeah. And then, then you started experimenting like hell. I remember you for your for your excellent Kanta pickle, which is yeah. Kanta is a wild I, berry found on the hills of Goa. Yeah, I did that, and I did uh, sausages, uh, pork sausages. Then sausages are tough, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I had the, I still have the recipe, so I can still do it. You can get it wrong, no? It it if you don't cure it properly, if you don't yeah, dry it you, properly. Yeah, you you need to uh, cure it. I mean, the process is like it has to follow the process. You can have shortcuts to making a good sausage, go on sausage. So I used to do that. I mean, I remember. in 1997 and there was a little bit of recession in yeah. uh, uh building construction and architecture okay and that's the time i dabbled with uh making this and selling you did it a bit commercially also a no? little bit commercially and it was appreciated it was appreciated widely so uh, uh, i mean it was more like a therapy i mean i liked cooking because i like good food Yeah, and then I went on like uh, I got a chance to learn Italian cooking. I learnt Italian cooking, did a little bit of uh, Mexican cooking because one my one of my clients was putting up a Mexican restaurant. My goodness! And uh, what a uh, story, they, man! There were two chefs from Mexico. They became good pals of mine, so I picked up some Mexican food there. So. uh food basically i have a lot of interest in food so mexican uh, is like a different language altogether no food mexican it's food. very close to indian food close. it it has it has chilies it has pungency i mean spices like india so it's very not there are similarities okay. in the ingredients and things like that so Uh, for me it was just the interest i just like different types of uh cuisines and uh, food and that's how which I is your favorite and why i oh you don't discriminate i don't discriminate i like any good food any good food okay which is uh, tasty uh, and that's it i mean i have no what you could biases. say biases good food is good food full good stop good food is good food that's it what's your definition of good food uh, it should be tasty okay uh, and uh, what you could say uh, it, it shouldn't be it should be moderately spicy not too spicy okay and uh, i mean which uh, which uh, I like uh, to eat uh, good food, which I am used to having good food around the place. So, I would define anything what is tasty to my palate. Tickles the palate. Yeah. So, 
I would like that food. But mostly it is, there has to be a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of spice. I mean, that that's for me is... That's the Goan taste? Uh, yeah, could be. I like these, Okay. Uh, what you could say, not elements, flavors, elements, this elements, taste, taste which should be there around. And if they are all there, then... I love that food. Noel, Noel, you uh, you know uh, restaurants and things like that pretty well. What are your recommendations? As of now, I, I mean... Uh, they keep changing, I know. They keep changing. But uh, I still, if I recollect, I mean... From what you know? Yeah. In Panjim, I mean... A good Chinese restaurant is still going chain. Mm. Mandovi's is good. Now the new Ritz Classic is good. Then the, in the north, if you are looking at good fish curry, there's one nice joint in Anjuna known as Ananda. Anand. On the way to Sholim? On the way to Sholim. Good food. Main road. Yeah, main, main, the main road. Sholim road. Yeah, that's, that's good. Then, uh, a nice place if you really want to have nice corn food, uh, including s- uh, Vindalo, then pork chops. There is a place in, in uh, Nashnola that's known as Endron. Nice. Good, a- Endron. Good and Endron, yeah. A-N-D-R-O. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's good food there. Along the coastal belt, I mean, now that restaurant doesn't exist. There was a very nice restaurant in, what was there, in, in Ashwim. I see. Run by... That is next uh, to Moji in the very north yeah. of Goa, Perne. Perne uh, it was known as the Zoo, Z-U. I it see. was run by Russians. Excellent, uh, excellent Italian food. I mean, they ran it for just two years and then they closed down. I learned some things from there because they were my friends. I see. Yeah. That, another good place for food is a little place in Sholim known as Amansius. Good Goan food. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about Goan food here. Where else? Even Britos is nice in Baga. Oh. Okay. I prefer that. I've never been, I've been to just once or twice to Soza Lobo. Soza Lobo. It's and much hyped, but uh, people say standards have dropped. And yeah, standards is have that dropped. True? I mean, I don't fancy it so much. Okay. I mean, people go gaga over it. But it but has a reputation it, from it the past. A, from the past, yeah. Probably it was really good in the past. But uh, down the ages, it is... Florentine? Florentine also is good. Yeah, the Cafriol is good. But I think when his father was there, I think the, that cafriol was much, much better. I see. Yeah. It has also dropped in quality. Okay. Yeah. In Mapsa, in Mapsa, I can't name you any... Mapsa is hardly a place for eating out, eating, no? Except yeah. that uh, ladies, uh, what's that? That uh, restaurant has come up now. What's it called? Some Bai or something. Where recently? Yeah, yeah, on the way, on after the police station on that new road. That was known as uh, some nice name. Yeah. Like I can't get the... Gargoti fish curry. Yeah, uh, fish curry. Hindu, Hindu I don't style. like there because there are too many flies around the place. <laughs> yeah, I say. <laughs> I know you are, you are, you are, you have a fetish for cleanliness. So. <laughs> but uh, their uh, fish dishes are nice. Yeah. No doubt about it. I forget the name of it though. It's on that bypass yeah. going to Anand Bai or something, uh, some some Bai. Some uh, I I don't get it. I yeah. don't get it. It's pretty nice. True. And uh, yeah, of late I've not been. There was a nice, nice, nice restaurant. I mean, uh, in Badem, the name Asa. of that place is. Wait, what's the name of this place? Hell. How could I forget this? Our brains are getting too cluttered, don't worry. No no mm, problem. 
it will come it will probably come with time it but was, uh, but noel uh, while on this point uh, see goan catholic and goan hindu food I, these are broad stereotypes but these are the two divisions as they are seen yeah in some ways hindu food is much tastier in some ways catholic food has its own niceties yeah. yeah, i mean uh, uh, you know i mean the use of vinegar in our yeah. uh, catholic uh, takes uh, i mean it's the main sort of ingredient here and there Sourding and yeah. we Uh, we we need a, a little uh, a tangy taste of of vinegar. I mean, we are okay. used to vinegar. Okay. They it, also have their they, souring agents, but they are they, different. They they use basically tamarind or tamarind or, or even or uh, cocum, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. all these things. So, no, but which are which are the dishes which uh, Catholics and we should be envying about in, from Hindu cuisine? Which are yeah, which which would they, you rate as far better than Catholic uh, cuisine? There there there. The shakuti, the real good uh, Hindu shakuti is really good. I, I see. Mean, they surpass. Uh, I see all the Catholic Catholics. Ones. Yeah, I mean, some of them, the old people really did it well. Yeah. And we still long to eat that uh, uh, shakuti prepared by the uh, Hindus because it was nice and pungent and. Uh, It was tasty. Yeah, we somehow don't come close to that. No yeah, and yeah. then they have the other dishes like Ganesh Chaturthi food. Since uh, we are in the Chaturthi season, as the crackers are saying, they they have all the rose. rose. The But the homemade one, not the, the one homemade. made in the restaurant. No, no, that, no. That's the homemade that's junk. The homemade rose is uh, way way apart, beyond the yeah, 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 part. Yeah. I mean, what they do in uh, for commercial to what they do at home. Yeah, they pulls apart. Yeah. And then they have, uh, you know, I mean that's the main dish, rose they make, and then they have all these sweet dishes like gorshi and things like that. Yeah. Which, uh, compared to our gorshi, is quite very very different. Yeah. And very different at all, to all together. And uh, yeah, they are, their fish curries are quite nice. I mean, I mean, I somehow like our uh, Catholic curry because. Uh, it, it's quite different from them. Uh, they don't use a lot of ingredients which we use in our curry. I see. Yeah. So, I prefer my Catholic uh, fish curry. I see. Though here and there, I don't mind it often. No. Actually, I'm more used to the fish curry rice outside, so that has become a standard for me now because uh, we don't eat too much of fish curry rice at home. So Correct. Like I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. I mean, we it has its peculiar we, taste. We, I mean, my mom being a very good cook and cooking runs through your family, no? Yeah. I mean, each of us no cooking. We are quite independent. In your mom was cooking. a good cook. Your dad yeah, was a professional uh, on board yeah, the ship. That's right. So uh, it looks like it's rubbed onto us. Or so it is. I mean, I didn't learn anything from my parents. I just had that keen interest. In me, yeah, and that's what took me to cooking. Noel, what do you think of street food? Go and street food. Uh, how do you rate it? Uh, would you advise people to consume what? Go and street food is good enough. I mean, what you get here. I mean, like uh, Indian. Uh, I mean, go and stuff like they sell chori spam. They sell yeah. uh, baji. They sell. Samosa, the uh, roast omelette, not to forget. Roast omelette, yeah. Uh, I mean, many people like roast omelette, but I'm not so gaga about okay. it. Okay. I mean, it's on each one's taste. Yeah. But yeah. people say, oh, "Wow, that one." Someone Can said roast omelette was invented by one guy in Margao in the 70s. But uh, when I was discussing this online, a friend from Divar said, "What rubbish!" He said, "We've always been eating roast omelette once." Once a month at home, that is, you know, your roast with uh, with uh, with an omelet. Okay. So I he's mean, saying it was taken to the streets by maybe this one guy, okay. but it was part uh, probably of I would uh, have no clue about it. But uh, street food in Goa is nice. I mean, it's good. I it's mean, good actually. If yeah. you check Santa Cruz, uh, yeah, e the, uh, the, the next to the church. If church. you check Saligao, correct, correct, uh, Mr. Yeah. D'Souza, correct, yeah. You know, and the story there is fascinating. Apparently, all this started after Umau, the first guy. In, in Santa Cruz. In Santa Cruz, yeah. Lost his job in the Gulf due to the Kuwait Iraq uh, war. Uh, the, the the thing, the uh, Saddam, 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 okay, yeah, okay. Saddam stuff. So he came back and he took all the recipes which he was eating at home and made it into a street cart based food. Okay. 
and that's how he got started and today that has caught up because uh, yeah, it has caught up nearly everywhere yeah of course ras omelet is is has been hugely popular especially outside the cinema theaters in panjim when they when they were active now unfortunately they are all dying except inox the old ones are dying and uh, you have the mapsa street food thing alankar where, yeah, alankar where mm. even a chief minister like parikar used to go to eat yeah, uh, and people used to make uh, you know make fun of it saying that it's not healthy how can you eat there yeah, and all those kind of things i would never eat there <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I must plead guilty here. I, I'm eating there all the time. My principle is as long as it's warm, just eat it. Don't worry. As long as it's not walking, just eat yeah. it. Uh, I I'm quite picky about where I eat. That's it. Uh, uh, not because of anything. It's just I I don't like the surroundings. And if I don't see uh, very clean surroundings, and I don't have an appetite. Has the Goan male taken a greater than average interest in food? Would that be right? at home i'm not talking in a professional setting at home in the meals see because so. what i'm saying is that uh, you know you are saying most of the cooking is done by women no that's yeah. true that but is true on a day day to day basis but it's not that the men don't know how to cook or they will not cook yeah uh, is, i mean uh, they would not have a problem with entering into the kitchen if they so wanted they may not want to yeah. do it on a daily basis uh, i mean i think uh, we Catholics, mm, I think uh, men in Catholic uh, households, households are more uh, like kitchen friendly, which the <laughs> uh, the other guys they are not. The Hindus know it's very mm. it's unless no, there is a hierarchy way. thing, and it's it might be seen as effeminate or whatever. But from 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 the social interactions I have seen, now whether it's your family, whether it's my family, the men have no no compunctions in cooking. They might be better at cooking, you know. in that sense they they do what they want to do they are quite independent minded they'll go in without any hassles and they'll do it correct you know like like yeah so uh, i mean uh, it's very i mean it's uh, nice to see the hindu uh, men uh, cooking because they are so uh, what you could say uh, yeah the traditional old might be yeah, they, more strong like they they, they they would never step into a kitchen they would never a uh, cook there yeah. because they were uh, you know always uh, cooking was the woman's uh, right. responsibility so uh, i mean they taking interest in cooking i mean it's yeah. it's uh, good it's absolutely uh, a good trend than uh, uh, just the woman cooking and uh, when I you were starting what were the challenges you faced in cooking, cooking. Of course, you mentioned one cleaning and uh, dealing with meat. Meat is tough, yeah. Meat is really tough, yeah. Right from cleaning fish and cleaning meat, everything. I mean, uh, you then came to know that you have to have the right tools, the right types of knives. Okay. Uh, to get your stuff, you know, uh, like if you really want to cook well and uh, fast, you need uh, good. knives and the I right see. tools that helps you to gain speed in pre- okay. preparations you can't use one knife for everything okay. i had different types of knife for different things because uh, it makes a difference you did some courses i did a italian course uh, with who uh, sarjano sarjano yeah the guy uh, who wrote a book that's yes, how i yes, remember yes, his yes, name yes yes how was it what did he teach how long It was just a week's course, and uh, uh, he he it was hands-on. I mean, right from doing the pasta, we learnt that creating it, creating yeah, creating it from the raw. And uh, I mean, uh, Italian food is basically sauces. All the sauces we had learnt, and we learnt a very good uh, tiramisu. He taught us. I see. What's uh, tiramisu? Excuse tiramisu me. Tiramisu is, is, is a dessert. It's like. A, a, you have special uh, biscuits uh, which are known as tiramisu biscuits uh-huh. and people today make tiramisu with sponge cake and all but that's not the way it's done the real tiramisu is done with tiramisu biscuits yeah and you have uh, various in right ingredients like mascarpone you have coffee you have this tiramisu biscuits and it's done in layers yeah okay uh, that that was all taught to us but uh, the main ingredients for any italian food is basically sauces the white sauce the 
um, mushroom sauce and various types of sauces and all of those sauces could be blended with various types of your pasta and that's how uh, it, it was interesting though I see. and we had to prepare and eat the uh, the food there every we, day we, 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 yeah, we used to start around from 9 to around 1 to 2 wow yeah it was hands on. It was very good. Which yeah. are the other courses one can learn cooking in Goa? I mean, in places, just to carry on, in places like Kerala, they have this cooking tourism, no, where you learn a few dishes and all. Do you think that would work in Goa? Are there enough? Certainly, it could. I mean, uh, uh, there, I think there was one place in Sholim. They had opened up a place. I see. And they were basically doing that, uh, teaching them to cook. Uh -huh. uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was a small place where they had opened up some Thai restaurant and they were I doing that. I, I, I don't see it anymore, but they they had this sort of an experiment uh, uh, some few years back in Cholam. But uh, yes, I think uh, just like there are these kitchens where people can go and learn the cooking of that particular place, like right. bone cooking, uh, it would be good, I mean, good fun. And people who are really interested in cooking, they could basically attend this uh, little, small little course of cooking. Yeah. Like, I remember, we had gone to Tekri, Tekri Kerala? Hill Station, yeah. And there, uh -huh. we had stayed in a restaurant and then they were having this sort of a... Really? Course? Uh, uh, like a course okay. only for the guests okay. so if they wanted to learn uh, they would go uh, they would tell you okay go we want you uh, interested we will show it to you I see which is quite interesting yeah you I mean, learn a bit of the food culture also correct correct I think it would be a great thing towards uh, trying out this experiment here in Noel Goa. you mentioned Thai food okay uh, and I know that there is a lot of diversity within Goan food I was once going down this uh, road in Anjuna, the main road to the beach, and in about 500 meters, I was shocked to find five different types of foods, oh, yeah. uh, cuisines. One was Afghani, one was German, of course, uh, German bakery was somewhere close by, yeah, yeah. far away, and uh, the other was uh, Chinese, of course, and Indian, and uh, I forget what, one or two other exotic foods. Can you give us a, a rough idea of uh, the diversity of Goan food today? A lot, many varieties have come in. You have East Indian food in, in Chioli. Plenty, or I mean. Well, like what? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, right from Mediterranean food to Arabic food to uh, Lebanese. Uh, Lebanese to Thai to uh, other Pan Asian cook, uh, I mean, yeah. uh, food. Uh, I mean, uh, it's like. Well, you know, they used to have that Saturday night market, mm. and you would have like stalls there uh -huh. who are at least serving different types of dishes, international dishes, yeah. which were that was quite colorful. The Saturday uh, night market, absolutely, it was put together really by this Dutch guy, uh, Ingos. Ingos, Ingos sorry, I mean, he was the guy who started it. I mean, there's a variety, I think. Uh, uh, it's a melting pot of various cuisines here in Goa. There is a lot of diversity. It's it's more than any other part of India. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Uh, other than the metropolitan yeah. cities like Mumbai, I think uh, Goa uh, comes can, beat, can uh, beat many of them. Uh, can come very close to that beating them. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. And some good stuff. I mean, <laughs> really, I've had quite a lot of good stuff when I used to go on Saturday market, I used to try various types of cuisines. And it's nice to try. Yeah, of course, nice. of course, of course. I, I remember the, the, there was a nice stall in, you know, they used to have also this Friday market at Hilltop. Uh -huh. And there was this lady who was, I don't remember the day, the name of the dish, but it was something which was uh, what you could say is sort of a bake okay and it had some liquid in it and uh -huh. it was awesome I see and she has opened from up which part of the world from Japan Japan I forget what was the name of that dish I see but she has opened up a restaurant known as Sakana where in uh, Vagata I see yeah 
interesting very interesting <laughs> So, so Noel, yeah. So that's uh, it was a very informative, uh, interesting, enlightening session. I think you forgot that there is this device between the two of us. One last question or two last questions. Was it painful? Do you have any regrets for talking? No. Painful? No. Uh, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> it's just spontaneous. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for Thank your you. for your for your for yeah. your time and your knowledge download. I think it's very important because no. you all come with certain skills which have which have taken years to build up and which we are not aware of and sometimes i feel this audio format it's it's more relaxing than probably video or something yes, like that yes i think so yeah thanks noel all yeah, the best thanks